Continuing with the payroll, I want to talk about absolute relative references so we can use the constants. In this cell here, C4 times D4 always copies it down by the row. We're going to do the federal tax. To do that, we multiply E4 times B11. B11 is always a constant. If we don't lock it in, it'll go to B12, B13, B14. So I'm going to explain that. I go equal, go to this cell here, multiply over here. To make it lock in, you want a dollar before the B and 11. Easy way to do that is to press the F4 key. We've got it in there. Complete the formula. We have it there. Pull it down. Have it there. Connecticut tax. Same thing. Equal. The gross pay. We want to multiply it times the 3.75%. Make it a constant. It's completed. We can drag it all down when we're done. That saves a little bit of time. Social Security tax. Again, the gross pay. Equal times the 7.65. Lock it in. If you don't, I'm going to not lock it in in this example, okay? And I pull this down. This is working. It's in this column here. It's always B12. In this one here, it is going from B13 to 14. It's got dashes in here. What does that mean? You multiply a number times zero, you get zero. So we need to edit that. We click up in here after it. I can just press the F4 key. Locks it in. Net pay. Do we need to put in the absolutes in here? No. We're always working with the row on here. So it'd be equal this minus minus minus. Don't press the minus at the end. If you do, it thinks you want to subtract something again. So if I do this, it's going to give me a thing here, a little message here. It wants to fix it. And it is showing it correctly. It can think things out, but try to be careful. So I've got that. And then I pull it down. I've got it all in there. Last thing. Let's say I want to know the totals of what I spent on the gross pay. And each number there, I click on that sigma key here. Auto sum goes over there. I drag this to the right on there. If you should see something that looks like railroad tracks, it means it's too narrow. Just wind it. Go between the letters there. You got it in there. So you've got the things here. If you were doing this for the first time in Excel, you might want to double check with the calculator that you're doing it. But if you look over here, all the formulas are in this range that I have highlighted. In columns E through I in the fourth row, they drag down. Do the formula once. Don't do it constantly or you're wasting your time.